Halloween baby let's start this so first up I'll get a box create a square after you create a box like this yours probably won't have these lines just push n for numeric and reduce this to 50 and also here all right okay so push space on the keyboard push Q and put white in the name so I want to change the color and it will have the white color and say okay so you can come click here if yours is not white already and just say okay once you're done here I'll push tab on the keyboard I'll save it save I'll send this thing to layout okay so I'll push one on the keyboard here in layout and I'll move this thing up a bit under item now object I'll change I'll name this as head and leave it at one meter then change it to a ball and say okay I'll move it a bit up and I'll go back create another now this time it's going to be a box I'll leave it at one meter as well so I'll just say okay and I will just move it up right here I'll create another now object change this again to a box so this one I will increase it to what say three meters and I'll say okay so the idea here is to reduce the sides so I'll push the stretch button and here say 0.2 in fact I think I need to put 0.1 here and same here 0.1 so this is like the other side so let's say if I was rotating it's for this side as well so T to move I'll move it here white rotate and I'll rotate it let's put it there position it right here and I'll copy this say okay there's one there and just move it in the x-axis white rotate and I'll rotate this let me just position it properly right there right so now what I'm going to do is for this cloth I'll go into the FX tools so with dynamics my experience is the computer will crash every now and then if you over put things so first thing you got to remember is to save your stuff so that you don't lose whatever you just did so uh, I was already doing a ghost tutorial so I just replaced that one so you can rename yours and just say save then I'll come for while selecting the cloth I'll come under dynamic body and I'll change this to deforming body I'll just select this head and come under collision body select static select the body of oh, yeah static same thing here static body and the other one as well as static body on the head here select this one in bullet dynamics under bullet dynamics come item and change the head shape from box to sphere that looks okay we'll save and if i try to play this now all right so it's not deforming the way i want it so we need to change a couple of things in this I don't see the hands actually working so here I want to rotate this oh my goodness remember to be at zero when you're changing anything because otherwise you go through this 
So let me take it to zero and start rotating my items here. So I want to raise these a bit higher. And I want to change a couple of settings in this thing. So please just follow. Alright, so for the cloth. I'll come under bullet item and let's change a couple of things in here. We'll start with uh, collision margin. I'll leave it at 5. I'll leave this at 2. And this one is the one I want to change. This one is the key. Changes a lot of things. So change it to 50. Leave this one at 10. This one at 100. And friction, you can leave it at... Eh, Say so I can put this at 18 and the collision margin I'll put it at 10 and also enable self collision then on the other stuff like this one so I'll change the bounciness from 30 to 1 and the friction as well to 100 so I'll do the same for the rest of these So after changing all that, let's just see how how this cloth will react. The idea is to get a frame in the first the first few frames. So let me just push four on the keyboard so that I see the way it's moving the reacting and everything else i can pick a frame on any of these but this still looks a bit too thick so let me just change a few more settings so let's go back item so the cloth so the stiffness here i want to reduce this as much as possible say 30. much better the falling off looks a bit much more better now so you can check the few frames and see which one looks good and the other thing is i'll go back to zero one more thing that i actually want to deal with is the arms I don't understand why these are actually not long enough so I'll just make sure these are long enough so that the cloth doesn't look like it's folding on that point so mainly what's working is this thing in here this thing inside not the whole rectangle here that's outside so i'll just copy this value and i'll go into this one and paste it and that's okay and one more thing i'll go back into bullet dynamics what uh, the item properties and just change the cloth i'm going to reduce this to even 20. Cancel that and let's play it. Okay, so I'll pause it again here. Go a few frames behind just when the cloth looks like it's settling. Alright, so you reach a point where you like what you've made. Say the way it is here. Say I like this. I will just come here and uh, save so i'll say save endomorph and i'll save this as ghost mod and say okay then i'll come back save and say export export fbx 
and here I'll choose where this goes so I'll save this as ghost tutorial but in FBX okay and don't change anything down here say okay basically here you need to close your lightwave modeler and just reopen it and I'll go where I've saved my my FBX and just get the FBX drag it and then drop it so most of you this will be ticked load each object to a separate layer I don't think that's necessary so just say continue and you come under morph so if you check here you have uh, a morph named ghost mode so if I change this you will notice you have this so so this is under morph so what you do is you go back to your base and under map down here morph more and just say apply morph so it will ask you which morph to apply and then the strength and say okay so now it's an actual object so you can save this as your object and one more thing i want to do here is i want to select these these point these polygons here so i'll go under texture wire and i'll just select let me select this one and say this one and just delete this then push tab on the keyboard so i have two eyes right there and i'll say texture so you can even make a mouth here if you want depending on what you want you can actually uh, just zoom in shift a and push e for extender and shift h to reduce the points and just say delete so now i can just go in so i want a frown i want it to be frowning so turn on symmetry and oh it's not working eh worth a try Right, so if I go in texture wired, I'll have a ghost. And for those parts that you don't actually like, say it looks a bit big here, bougy bougy. I'll save just going to modify, get the magnet to zoom out. So you can circle the area using the right mouse button and just drag and then just move them in so if you want a huge fall off just make sure the circle is big and start pulling all right so the advantage here is that it's a cloth so you can just pull feel free you can spend all day pulling and twitching the way you want it one more thing i forgot go back to surface editor and just make sure your white surface check the smoothing and also check the double sided so it's supposed to be double sided and then well if you leave it like this the edges would definitely be very sharp or what you can simply do though it will eat up your memory just come under multiply extend thicken and this thicken this a bit so you could double the number of polygons that you actually put into this and well i think it's worth it look at the round edges push a and yeah voila well have a wonderful halloween and bye bye see you next time